What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we are at Gwinnett Place BMW and we're here to take a look at the all new 2019 BMW X7 xDrive 50i SUV. This particular model is shown in a beautiful Arctic gray and the interior features ivory white and night blue leather accents. It is stunning. This is the largest BMW SUV ever built. So it's going after cars such as the Mercedes-Benz GLS and then the Audi Q7. Those cars have been out for quite a while, so it's inevitable that BMW would come out with a large luxury SUV such as the X7. So today, let's check out the interior and exterior details and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. The front of the BMW X7 is clearly defined by these kidney grills. These are quite possibly the largest kidney grills I've ever seen on a BMW to date. Of course, they feature active shutters that open and close based on ventilation needs, but these grills are just huge. I don't know if they're for ventilation or you're just supposed to slap a steak on there. Look at the size of it when compared to my hand. That is humongous. Now coming over to the headlamps, of course you get full LED daytime running lamps, but the X7 is also available with BMW's latest laser headlamp technology, which is able to illuminate the road 600 meters ahead of you. Now, before we get into the details of the side profile design of the X7, there are a few things I wanna point out regarding its platform. This is based on the same platform as the BMW X5, the cluster architecture platform, which is based on a composition of steel, aluminum, and carbon fiber. But this car is much larger than the BMW X5. As a matter of fact, it's nine inches larger, and then the wheelbase is five inches longer. So that longer wheelbase is gonna translate into a smoother and luxurious ride. Now let's talk about some of the key design aspects of the side profile. This car features tons of glass. Remember, it's designed to seat up to seven occupants extremely comfortably. But what I like about it is that the glass doesn't look excessive, and I love how it's been defined by this polished outline going along the side profile of the car. That provides a really regal and rich accent when you see this car on the street. Now coming lower on the side profile, you have this polished chrome accent here that really just helps break up the color of the car. I really like the way this car looks on the side. These chrome accents really help give the X7 a sense of presence. Focusing on the rear, I think the rear design of the X7 is just lovely. I love these chrome accents BMW has incorporated all over the design of this vehicle. And of course, you get full LED tail lamps. Now coming lower, you have additional chrome accents around your exhaust. Now, since this is an SUV, or what BMW refers to as an SAV, a sports activity vehicle, let's take a look at some of the storage capacity. So let's open up the hatch. Now the hatch comes in two parts. I'll press this button here. It's kind of a clamshell design. Where have we seen that before in recent videos? Let me know in the comments section. Now, with the seats up, you're getting about 48 cubic feet of storage. Now there is a button on the side panel here that allows you to fold the seats electronically, just one touch, and then the car will do the magic on its own. You'll see that the third row folds down and the captain's chairs scoot up. So the X7 has a storage capacity of up to around 90 cubic feet of storage, and it's really easy to do. Now, if I wanna put the seats back up, I'll just hit the max occupant button. So we'll hit that, captain chairs will roll up, the third row will fold back up. Now my only minor gripe about that, and this is not a big deal at all, is that the headrests don't come up on their own. So if you do that, just remember to pull up the rear headrest and then you're good to go. So to close the rear, I'll simply hit this button on the top of the hatch and the two parts will close and meet in the center. I love the one touch functions of the rear seats and then the rear hatch. It just all comes together very nicely. Lightly touching on the driving dynamics of the X7, of course this car comes with a double wishbone suspension system up front and a multi-link design in the rear. But what I really wanna make mention of is the X7's available air suspension system. That's gonna help give it a smooth and silky ride, but there are also some other benefits to having an air suspension system. Dependent on what driving mode you're in, it's able to raise or lower the car. It has a total of up to 3.2 inches of travel. So if you wanna ease ingress and egress of the vehicle, you can lower the car. That also helps ease the strain of loading items in the back hatch, or you can raise the vehicle if you're going off-roading. 
So it's that simple. Speaking of additional clearance, there is an off-road package available on the X7 that provides extra protection on the car's underbody. However, I would wager to guess that most X7 owners will never take their car off the street. Taking a look at the wheels and tires of this particular X7, it features the 22-inch multi-spoke ferric gray wheels. Now they come wrapped in all season Pirellis that are 275 up front and 315 in the rear. Now, one thing I wanna make mention of is that the X7 does feature active rear steering. So that's able to virtually shorten and lengthen the wheelbase depending on driving conditions. So at higher speeds, the rear wheels will move in the same phase as the front wheels, making the car more stable. But at lower speeds, the rear wheels will move in the opposing phase as the front wheels, allowing you to be extremely agile, which is very helpful in parking lot situations. Underneath the hood of the X7, you're gonna find one of two power plants. For the X40i, just remember three threes. There's a three liter straight six producing 335 horsepower and 330 pound foot of torque. Now for this X7 X50i model, the power plant is a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 producing 456 horsepower at 5,250 RPM and 479 pound foot of torque at the low engine speed of 1500 RPM. Now this power plant is connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 occurs in just 5.2 seconds. Now we've discussed quite a bit of the exterior details of the X7. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Sitting inside the interior of this X7, I must admit this interior is just, it's really fresh. The night blue leather and the ivory white just looks amazing. Just high quality materials every single place you look. And then I love how there's mood lighting and they've incorporated the latest and greatest of technology in this car as well. Starting at the top of the dash, you have this beautiful night blue leather with accent stitching going throughout the dash. Now you have a huge 12.3 inch display system that's a touchscreen as well. Of course, this features BMW's latest iDrive system, so you can do things like control the volume just by moving your fingers in front of it while you're driving. Coming further down, you have your air conditioner system, your air conditioning controls, and controls for your radio. Further down in the center console, you have two cup holders that are both cooled. That's a really nice touch, and of course, there's mood lighting throughout. Now, what I really like is the gear selector. It looks really exquisite and rich. It almost looks like a crystal and it has an illuminated X inside. Now that looks nice. Talk about showmanship. Further down in the center console, you have all sorts of buttons for your stability control, your cameras, your parking sensors, your eco mode if you wanna drive in eco mode or not, your sport, comfort, eco pro, adaptive, and different modes for the car as well. You also have a selector for your iDrive system so you can use that in case you don't like touch screens or the gesture control. What I like to see in a lot of these new cars now are multiple ways that you can access different menus in a car. So you either have the gesture control, the touch screen, or you can use this knob here in the center console. I really love that about these new vehicles. Coming further back in the console, there's additional storage with a USB port as well. Now, one thing I will say is that the seats in the X7 are exceptionally comfortable. They are 20 way adjustable. I can't even imagine how to move these seats in 20 different ways, but they are just gorgeous. The leather is soft and supple. I really love the ivory white and night blue accents throughout the seats and the stitching really just sets everything off. Now coming over towards the steering wheel is covered in smooth leather. You have controls for your infotainment system and being able to control your phone and radio at the same time without being too distracted while driving. Now behind the steering wheel, you do have a digital instrument cluster as well, and it's able to provide you all the information without being overbearing. It's fully customizable. And one thing I wanna mention is that within the instrument cluster, there's a camera that looks at you to make sure you're paying attention if you're using some of this car's autonomous features. This car can drive itself up to 40 miles per hour or so. So this camera is there, it's watching you, while you're letting the car do some of the work and it's making sure you're paying some attention while driving. Coming over towards the door panels, again, covered in that beautiful leather with stitching. You have aluminum door handles, your lock and unlock buttons, controls for your two position memory system in this car and controls for your heated seat features as well. Now you can also move the rear seats from this front seat. So if you notice here on the door panel, there's a button that says rear and you can move the rear seats backwards and forwards. 
from sitting in the front. Now that is pretty cool. Coming further down, you have controls for all four windows, controls for your side mirrors, and of course storage on the bottom of the door as well. And I just love the accent lighting that's been incorporated on the door panels also. So now we're checking out the second row and I must say, these captain's chairs are phenomenal. They are just as beautiful as the chairs are up front. So this is definitely an option I would check if I was to get the X7. Now there is a bench seat available if you want the seven seat configuration, but in my opinion, these captain's chairs are the way to go. They're just exceptionally comfortable. Now, sitting in the second row, you can truly take advantage of seeing this huge panoramic roof that's been incorporated into the X7's design. Now, since we're talking about that roof, I wanna go ahead and mention that the X7 now features Sky Lounge. And Sky Lounge is an LED light system BMW has incorporated in the roof. And it's integrated up to 1500 LEDs into the glass roof of this car. And it features mood lighting. It's really nice. Think of it as what Rolls Royce does with their Starlight headliners and their cars, except that this is glass. And I really think this is an exceptional touch on the X7, I love it. Now coming over to the door panels, just as much luxury as you find up front, beautiful leather, aluminum door handles, and controls for your windows, and of course, mood lighting and storage on the bottom of the door as well. Now directly in front of me, I do have access to some ports in case I wanna charge my phone. There's also an option to have a multimedia system, so you would have screens here as well if you go for that option. And of course, additional mood lighting. In the center console here, you have your own climate control for either side. So I just really love how they make sure that you're just as comfortable as you are up front in the second row. It's been executed exceptionally well. So accessing the third row of the X7 isn't that complicated. I'll simply pull on this lever located on both seats. So let me pull on this and then the car will start to do its thing. The driver's seat moves up a little bit, then this captain's chair slowly moves up to try and give me some space to get into the rear. So I'll let the car do it. All right, so then I will hop in. There, so once I'm seated, I will pull back on the captain's chair so it can return to where it was. So I love how everything in this car is automated. It's really simple to get back here. So sitting in the third row, what are my impressions? Naturally, you're not gonna get as much space as you did in the second row of seats, but I think that's fair, but it's still comfortable. You could still sit here for quite a long period of time. The seats are soft and plush. Typically, if you sit in the third row of any other SUV in the market, it's like poverty standards but BMW still gave you some luxury. You get mood lighting, you have your cup holders, and then you have your own temperature controls here on the roof. The roof is also lined all the way throughout the car and nice soft Alcantara. I really love that about this vehicle. But overall, you can take a long drive in the third row of this car and still be somewhat comfortable. You also have a panoramic roof here as well. So that was a look at the all new 2019 BMW X7. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comment section. Yes, I know the grille is enormous, but there's something quite regal about the overall appearance of this SUV. I absolutely fell in love with this car's interior and it's just taken luxury and technology in this segment to another level. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Special thanks to Gwinnett Place BMW for having me over. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will catch you in the next video.